Capricorn. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. General energies for the sign of Capricorn. Predictions and forecasts for the week ahead. That means the 12th through the 19th of 2019. But of course, whenever you see the video is when you were meant to see the video. So timing is perfect even if you see it a year later but I'll, i always need to tell you when the time the time frame is that i record this in especially with the aries full moon coming upon us i'm going to attach the aries reading right above look for it above um thank you so much for those of you just discovering the channel welcome this is born without boundaries welcome please do click subscribe so you can join the journey and then ring that bell so you know when all the content is uploaded and when i go live which is like five days a week monday through friday uh, usually in the AM. <laughs> um, uh, for those of you who are on platforms that allow for commercials to break in, I am going to put a break right here so it doesn't break for the rest of the message. So I appreciate your patience and your kindness because whether you know it or not, just letting that commercial run is a donation to the channel and I really appreciate it. So I'll be back in about 30 seconds in three, two, one. Welcome back. Through that awkward pause if you don't have commercials or a commercial didn't show up because sometimes they don't um but once again thank you so much that really is a donation to the channel whether you know it or not your patience is a donation to the channel so i am grateful for it all right capricorn let's get into your reading we're starting here on youtube with the oracle cards oracle cards are speaking um for the general energy and then we'll go over to vimeo that link is below in the description box for a full tarot spread reading as well as the romance reading all oh, the cards are popping for you which means to me, Capricorn, you're going to be very communicative this week. Uh, this week, this is a week of communication. This is a week of catching up and communication, of really being able to communicate all of those things that you need to say, saying those things, saying all of those things, say what you need to say, say what you need to say and say it loud and say it clear. And right above, I'll probably attach that John Mayer song, say what you need to say, Capricorn. But there is something that's very definite, um, I think, on your chest. And this is a good week to communicate it. I think um, uh, passions are high and emotions are running high. But I think because everybody is emotional, it's going to be understood and it's going to be well, um, well communicated, like well received. Um, and listen, remember, communication is not just about talking. It's about listening as well, right? So say what you need to say and let them say what they need to say. And it's, it's a good thing. All right. Let's see what the first card out was. Energy that is crowning this reading watch your words oh come on it's like what what watch your words so say what you need to say say what you need to say your words have a lot of strength and a lot of power but this this card comes with a warning in that in other words this is a two-way street a conversation isn't just being a parrot or saying what you think people want to hear Please do not say things that you, you may be inclined because you're afraid of how people will take it to say what is really on your mind, even though you're usually very straightforward. But this is a very tender situation because this is a very tender time. It's a very emotionally driven, emotionally fueled time. And you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. This is clearly something that you need to say and get off your chest and maybe even something that they need to say and talk to you about. But it is very particularly important to be respectful with your words, to not say what they want you to hear. Do not be a parrot this week. Do not, do not, do not even fall into that temptation or pitfall of changing your words or changing your perceptions for other people's convenience. But also make sure that when you speak, you're speaking in a gentle way. You're speaking in a way that allows for conversation or a response back or for them to comment. A say, speak, use your words to encourage conversation and encourage the exchange of feelings and encourage them to remain open to what you're saying as opposed to laying into them with death and judgment and you did this to me and you need to fix it like that's not going to get you anywhere but the street corner like literally if if you use your words that way this week it, you you're honestly going to be killing your love or killing the relationship this is this is a time to ex use your words to express how much you love somebody 
you know, and to let that love come through by what you say and by that you're even willing to talk to them. That's why it's so important. This is a message that demonstrates how very, very important words are this week. This whole week, you'll be talking to bosses, lovers, family. This whole week, I know that you have almost like an exhaustion to you. I know that you're worried about the future. I know that this, this, there are specific topics that are extremely sensitive to you. You have the brain power and you have the capacity to be very diplomatic with how you speak. And that's what you're going to use this week. Diplomacy in how you speak. And it's going to get you way, way ahead. Like that, it's, it's going to literally set you free, cast you forward, raise you to a different level. But watch, watch also how people are speaking to you this week, Capricorn, because remember my, my messages go both ways. You know, it's like they go always. If you, if somebody is disrespecting you with words, if somebody is judging you, because remember Saturn went, went direct and people can be very judgmental when that happens, you know? Um, so you're ruled by Saturn. You're used to dealing with that pressure that comes from an incessant need to judge everything and think you're right. Like you've lived in that skin and dealt with that challenge your whole life. And so you've learned to be diplomatic. Other people, not so much. So if you're running into somebody who you know, especially if they're a mutable sign, that's Virgo, Gemini, or Pisces, that will not deal as well with that Saturnian energy that really won't know how to handle it. So they'll just react emotionally and spew. That's what you're going to need to do before you speak. Take a breath before you respond, because there is nobody better at wielding Saturn than you. And if somebody wants to bust a judgmental nut on you, you're more than happy to fling that shit right back. So, and then say, did you hear what you just said to me? Do you understand how very hurtful all those assumptions were? Because that's not what I meant. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I understand your hurt and I accept it. I accept it. And that's what I want to talk about. You know, how you're feeling and let you understand that all that anger that you have toward me is, is, an, is emotion and it's valuable and it's valued. It's valued by me. But also all those things that you're saying that I am or that I do, not really fair. And let me explain why. There is nobody better at wielding Saturn than you are and knowing how to deal with the kind of intensity that Saturn brings. Take a breath first, count to 10, and then be that full-on diplomat that I know you are. Don't worry, I'll turn the uh, camera around so that you can see. Um, yeah, coming out again, second card out was sing your own song. This is definitely you. Once I what like I said, ha, first of all, having a very light energy to you and taking things not with a grain of salt, but understanding where they're coming from. And because you are very intuitive, nobody ever gives you credit for this, but you're so fucking intuitive. It's ridiculous. You are very, very intuitive as most cardinal signs are, which is why people don't get why we just make decisions and go for them. And we don't need all the practicalities and blah, 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 blah. Our intuition is usually on point right? You, you Capricorn may like to put other people in boxes, but you don't like to be put in a box yourself, you know, what I mean? because you have that strong intuition that you are to always connected to. So this is about having a very light energy and taking people's emotions very lightly and being true to who you are this week. 
If anybody challenges you, especially somebody who is not as mature as you, who is younger than you, I also feel like this is people singing your praises. I do. This is this is a this is a good message that's coming through this week, and it may only be one, but it's going to be a very important one. You are going to receive a very good message, almost like I said, somebody singing your praises this week, and it's going to make you feel good. Please absorb that energy. Like let that come into you. Let that solidify the fact that you are beautiful and you're wonderful. Wonderful. And yes, hello, because holy shit, if people accuse you of judging them even one more time, they don't have any idea of how hard you are on yourself. This is a message that needs to come through so that you can be like, you know what? I am loved. You know what? I'm going to give that one to myself. I'm just, I'm just going to accept this compliment with an open heart because I really do deserve this. And this is a message that you're really going to want. This is something that you're, that's very close to your heart. It's very tender. And um, yeah, it's something that you maybe give a lot to, put a lot in. But what don't you, right? What don't you put a lot into? Um, but, but honestly, definitely, I feel like it's, it's, let them sing your praises. Let them do it, please. Please let them do it. Just allow it. Allow that beautiful messaging to come in. But didn't I say it's all going to be words? Words are so important this week. You're also dealing with a lot of air energy. Air is thoughts and communication. So um, yeah, like get your diplomat hat on because that's what you're going to need. Uh, and more bird spirit. A lot of energy. Are you guys dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra? Maybe it's just Libra season, but the communications and the air signs are swirling around you today. It's almost like, please don't be their food, but it's not. It's not their food because these aren't carrion birds. Um, like especially canary and parrot totem would, would, are seed eaters. You know, they're, oh, you know, they're, yeah. Hmm. Well, anyway, spirit has your back. This card comes through loud and clear. This is also a card that reminds me a lot of you because it's structured. It has to do with government. You could be getting a message from the government, from something legal, from an official source, from a boss. That is something that you really needed to hear. It's a, it's something that a spirit is protecting you through. It's, it's spirit is orchestrating for you. So basically what I'm saying is it's in your best interest, but it's also singing your praises and it's going to be easy for your heart to accept this message is going to be coming in via or or you're the one that's going to be giving the message and you're the leader and you're the boss and you're going to be able to distribute some very happy news or words that people want to hear capricorn so you are the bearer of good news this week and that's a good thing it's almost like you'll be able to be generous you'll be able to be generous with your spirit and with your heart you're coming from a place that's a lot lighter than you normally are. And I feel like this has to do with this Aries energy that's fueling the moon. It's it's giving you a kind of energy and power because it's a fellow cardinal sign. It is you have you have energy to spare this week. And that is a very good thing for you because it's exactly what's going to position you in the right mindset to say all the right things and make all the right decisions this week that will lead you to continued and future success. The central card is claim your independence. So this is definitely knowing your self-worth. This could be actually getting out of a relationship that you've decided is not right for you. This could be getting word that you have been let go or released. But bottom line is, at the end of the day, it's going to be a relief for you to actually get this message. There's going to be good news with the release news. So we're not even going to call it bad news. There's going to be good news within the release news. You're going to feel a sense of relief, a sense of happiness. There's almost going to be this, this re, uh, re, um, recharge in who you are. You're going to be happy about being free. It, it is, it is, I know in any other, in any other week, it may have seemed like bad news. It's not bad news. It's, it's, it's liberating news. You're going to, it's, it's just going to liberate you and free you. It's going to clear things up for you. Um, I don't want to say that you're becoming single, but you're definitely standing in your power and you are remembering how important you are. In other words, whatever happens to you this week or whatever words come at you this week, even though you will be receiving good messages, if not all of them are good, you're going to be so stocked up with feeling good about yourself 
that they're going to wash over your back like it's nothing. Like you're literally going to be able to wash it away. You're going to be feeling so confident. Think of the confidence of a cat. Cats don't think about things. They don't attach themselves to the past. They only think in the future. This is a Sagittarian energy. So they're thinking of the future. They know their future is bright. They never question themselves. They never question their self-worth. They take what they need when they want it. And that's how cats live. And this is the energy that you're embracing. That confidence and ability ability to know that you actually do deserve to be um so you you actually deserve to be on your own side this week um this is an energy that's like supporting that crowning energy and it's beautiful nothing is wasted please don't think and this is more air oh my god strong communication coming in for you this week and i'll tell you this capricorn you above anybody will be able to know what to do with it you will, you and your beautiful ingenuitive mind will be able to understand how this is a good thing and to know what to do with it. <clears throat> this is information that you need. This is information that you need to move forward. You're going to be receiving information that will enlighten you and illuminate questions that you've had, concerns that you've had, issues that you have felt that are brewing beneath the surface, but nobody's been saying anything about it. They're coming out this week and you're going to be relieved because you are that consummate worker. And as soon as you have everything laid out in front of you, you know what the f to do with it. But because it hasn't been is why it's, it's been bothering you. It's causing you stress. The stress is, this is where the release is coming from. Now everything, the cards are laid on the table and you will know exactly what to do with those cards. There is nothing that you've been through and nothing that's going to be thrown at you that you can't handle as long as it's in the open and anything that has been hidden, this full moon in Aries is going to illuminate. I'm telling you, it's bringing out all of this stuff. <clears throat> that's what I love about you. You never see anything as a pile of shit. You see it as fertilizer and you have ideas for how to use it. And this is the perfect energy for you saying you're going to know exactly what to do with things as soon as they're uncovered and they are going to be uncovered. They're not going to be bad. You're not going to take them as bad. You're just you right now, whatever you're stressed about is because you can't control it. You don't have any influence over it. You can't do anything with it because it's brewing beneath the surface. And that's not where you live. You live in the practical and you live in the now. You live in the pragmatic. You don't know what the f is going on beneath the surface. Intuitively, you feel it coming, but you don't see what it is or how it will manifest. Well, that will all manifest this week. It will all come to the surface and you're going to be like, now I know what to do. Now I know what to do. Oh, you over there. You'll know exactly what to do. There is nothing that you can't handle. That's this energy. You are going to be very sure and very definite. You have crowns on your head. So your head and the way that you think and the wonderful way that you can make decisions and be confident about them is your best ally this week. Ooh, ooh, I love it. Transcendence. Transcendence. You are finally rising out of this time of stress, this wonkiness, this confusion. You are finally, and this is air too. This is you being able to be lighter. You've been liberated by anything that's keeping you down. And what, what, what was keeping you down was the stress, was not knowing, was feeling intuitively that something was coming, but not knowing it was. And now you're going to know it. You're going to know exactly what it is. And now you're fine. Now you're fine. It's also about you leveling up and moving to an, this is a very transcendent time. This is as we move closer to Scorpio season. And this is a very scorpionic energy of rising from the flames and the ashes into the light and, and, and your light basically rebirth. So you are, this is a period where a lot of new things can come into your life this week. A lot of newness. Why? Because you're building it because you're enabling it, because you're allowing it, because you know exactly what to do. Like with you, there's like, there's, there's no such thing as, I'm not saying there's no such thing as bad news, but you can always figure out, figure something to how, figure out a way to make something useful. And that is exactly what's going to be happening this week. You, this is your new life taking off. Something may surprise you this week too. Like that good news that comes in, that kind messaging, those kind words, it's, there is something very transcendent about this week for you that is you beginning a new phase in your life. Whether it's a job, whether it's a romance, whether it's moving, it's a new phase is, is here. 
it's here. If it's been growing and developing under the surface, and maybe that's what's been under the surface, is it's been in seed form. Well, this is the first week where that sprout pops through the earth. You, it pops through the earth and it, it, the, the, the roots have grown strong enough for it to finally pop up through the earth. And this is, this is you coming out, coming into a new life. I'm going to turn the camera around. Hold on. Hey. Okay. So now you can see, you can see what I'm talking about. What's crowning this reading is the card that for me tells me exactly how important thoughts and how you communicate those thoughts are, are. So the whole mentality of this reading is know just how important your words are. That your words have such tremendous impact this week, you're going to want to choose them wisely, but always be true to yourself when you're doing it. And that's why this is the sub-central card, right? Supporting this main theme, always stick by yourself. Do not be a parent, a parrot. Be somebody who is confident in who they are and knowing that, yes, you're right, but also because you're confident in what you believe, you can also have, make room for other people and make room for other people's thoughts and beliefs. You're not intimidated by them. You're not intimidated by somebody else coming at you and maybe using really harsh words towards you. You're not going to spring back and talk to them and, 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 and like, like barrage them with negative, negative words. That's not what you're going to do. You are going to use your words in a way that will get you what you want. You will be very diplomatic this week. It's very important for you to do so. And very important for you to always stand by who you are and what you're capable of. And have that confidence that is unshakable this week. And I think you will, is what I'm saying. Is it will, this is spirit guided. So spirit will be infusing you with this sense of confidence in yourself. This is that Sagittarius energy that is like that fiery, that is complemented by the Aries full moon. You will have the confidence to say what you need to say. And that will, any conflict that was arising for you, especially around the Aries full moon, you will be able to talk your way out of. You'll be able to get them on the the other side to talk their way through but this is messages coming in one at least one that sings your praises and glorifies you and makes sure that it 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 celebrates you and it may be something that you're very surprised of but let that sink in and re refuel you refuel you this is also a message from somebody who may be your boss or maybe you being the boss giving messages but it's definitely from some some sort of leader or some notification could be governmental could be legal but it's definitely from um that higher authority but this is definitely also a spiritual higher authority. So it's trust in your intuitions and trust that spirit has your back. Absolutely. But also this, there's messages coming in. You're going to get the communication you need if you've been waiting on communication from some, something at work or some boss or, or some sort of authority figure. And then nothing is wasted. Once you get the communication, you'll know exactly what to do with it. No, you haven't wasted your time. No, you haven't wasted your energy. You're going everything. Once everything is laid bare and brought to the surface, you'll know exactly what to do. And look at the vulture is waiting for this message to be delivered waiting this is very much this is very grounded energy for an air sign they know the message is coming in because they know exactly what they're going to do with it transcendence transcendence a whole new life cycle is about to start for you a whole new life it's coming to fruit it's coming to visibility it's coming into visibility this week it's going to be very discerned and laid bare this week. So get ready, Capricorn, because this is a very transitional and transcendental time for you. Let's dig deep, deeper into what you can expect and who may be delivering these messages with tarot over on the other side on Vimeo. I'm going to pull a full tarot spread and do your romance reading over there. Romance, not the weekend romance, but weekend for the uh, romance for the whole week ahead. So I'll see you there.